Hi everybody, it is time for our art lesson for today and we are going to be featuring a um, pretty cool artist today and then doing a project inspired by his style of artwork. Um, and uh, I'm going to talk about his uh, life first and then we'll get to our project, okay? So the artist that we're featuring today is Keith Haring. Keith Haring is an American artist. He was born in Pennsylvania in 1958. When Herring was 20 years old, he moved to New York City. New York City was very exciting, and there were many artists working in the same neighborhood as Herring. Herring was inspired by graffiti artists. He drew hundreds of drawings on the New York subway. He got in trouble sometimes for drawing on the subway, but many people loved his artwork. He carried on drawing because he wanted everyone to be able to experience art. Herring started showing his artwork in galleries. When he would sell a painting, he often gave the money to, the children, to a children's charity. In many of Herring's artworks, it looks like the figures are dancing. That's because Herring was also inspired by hip-hop music and break dancers that performed in the streets. So as you can see from some of his artworks there, um, he has kind of a really fun, almost doodle style artwork. Um, and that is the kind of inspiration we're gonna take from today. I'm gonna show you a really easy way um, that you can be inspired by his artwork and draw your own inspiration of his. Um, or you can um, just look at it and have do your own type of thing. It is totally up to you. As you can tell, he would use either really, really bright colors or it was all in black and white. Or he would maybe just pick two colors. So um, it just depends. But he generally works with a very thick black paintbrush or paint pen, paint marker or something like that. So our artwork is going to be inspired by his kind of doodle style there, okay? So today's um, things that you will need, okay? Piece of paper, which has been pretty common for us. A pencil, definitely. Um, make sure you have an eraser, whether it's a good eraser on the end of your pencil or you have a bar eraser, okay? Um, and then you're gonna want um, markers. And then of course you can um, have crowns as well um, to uh, draw with and color with because we want that nice bright color, I think. Um, so what we're gonna do, now I am gonna do all of mine in um, markers so that you can see what the heck I'm doing. Because um, we've found in the past the pencil doesn't work very well. You can't see what I'm doing. So, um, really simple. We're going to start out drawing a stick figure. Never do I ever tell my kids to draw a stick figure. But when we're inspired by Keith Haring, I find this is kind of a fun way um, to get his style um, to look um, like ours. Okay? So, with your pencil, with your pencil lightly, lightly, I can't stress this part enough, because we will be erasing the stick figure later. Um, and that's why you needed a good eraser. Um, and you can always cover that up with color as well. So lightly, lightly, again, I'm doing marker because I want you to be able to see what the heck I'm doing, okay? Um, draw a stick figure, okay? Whether he looks like he's dancing, he looks like he's running, it can just look like he's just standing there, that's fine. Think about how you want your figures to be in your artwork and what you want them to be doing, okay? Um, so, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my figure. I'm gonna go with um, the figure dancing. Okay, remember, lightly with your pencil, okay? So I'm gonna put the head on here. Oh, my tail is gonna throw me off again. Now, I'm going to draw my stick figure just a little bit different because I want to be able to add all those elements like he does, okay? So, I did a little bit more to my stick figure where normally we would just have like you know, one stick coming out for the arms and one stick for one leg and one stick for another leg. I kind of gave him those joints, okay? Because I wanted to be able to see where my arms and legs were going. So again, this part is light in pencil, okay? Um, so the next part you're going to do, I'm going to get a different colored marker here. Um, I'm just going to choose purple so you can see um, the difference there of what I'm talking about in these steps here. Um, so now this next part, you can do with marker if you want to, um, but just to be safe, 
I do it in the pencil, so that way if you do mess up, you can erase, right? Um, and this part doesn't have to be light, this next part, okay? What we're gonna be doing, because Keith Herring's is kind of what I call the gingerbread man, um, it's like an outline of this whole thing. So um, we want to basically outline, we don't need to do anything with our head because he does just that nice circle head anyway. Um, so what we want to do is we want to come down from the neck and then just outline the line of our stick figure, okay? And then we can come back and erase the body there. And then we should have a pretty close looking um, Keith Haring uh, figure. So I'm gonna trace mine really quick and that way you can see. So, and don't be afraid if you make the shoulders to, you know, close up. If you saw, some of these figures didn't even hardly have any necks. They just went from straight, I call it the football shoulders. He got these big shoulders already. So that's fine. He's got his own style. You've got your own style too. Um, so again, I'm just going to outline my stick figure. And most of his figures had those little ball hands. Um, so if you want to just put a little ball on the end of their hands, and I'll show you here. And I probably made my little guy a little too skinny, I just now noticed, but that's okay. A little skinny one ain't gonna hurt. You can make some skinny ones, you can make some fat ones. Maybe we'll fatten him up on this side. And then usually their feet were like um, kind of shoe boxy. They were just very boxy. Um, shapes and you probably um, saw some were more like uh, dogs they have like dog heads okay so you can certainly change the head of yours if you want to but so you can see how I traced um, that picture or my um, stick figure there and so now I have more of that Keith Haring um, looking figure and he looks like he's dancing um, now so if obviously you've worked in pencil like you're supposed to okay you can erase the stick figure on the inside. Remember, don't erase the head because we need the head. If not, you're going to have a headless uh, figure there. Okay? So erase all your sticks on the inside. And then you should have your cute little um, outline um, of your herring figure. And then uh, to if, you're, if yours is definitely supposed to be looking like it's moving, like mine's supposed to be looking like it's moving, you know, like shaking its arm, do, 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 right? He gave them those little accent lines is what I call them. And I'll show you here. And it's just these little curved lines that made them look like they're bouncing or moving um, to the beat of something. And I just think that they're really cute to add. And you'll see that in a lot of cartoons that they add those types of things. So you can see what I'm talking about. It looks like he's stomping his feet and moving his arms now. Uh, and then, of course, you can add all kinds of crazy things in the background. In um, the black and white mural or... Um, it, or big large picture um, that I showed you, he literally filled almost every nook and cranny in with whether it was just lines or even silly objects and shapes. So this would be kind of a fun um, spot to just start adding things in the background so I can give him his little dance floor, right? Um, and then I can put some more friends in the background if I want to. Um, I could put, maybe I wanna go with a, um, where the music is coming from, right? I want to give it that music big boom box. And I'm just drawing what I see in my head here of a boom box that I remember from when I was a kid. Some of you guys are probably like, what the heck is a boom box, Mrs. Meyer? But, you know, some of you kiddos miss out on the good stuff. I'm just going to say that. But you can tell that pop art style was very almost cartoony and had, you know, a lot of these lines to where we can tell that there's something or sound movement coming out of them. Um, so I want to see some of those things there. And of course, I can add some music notes, right? Just to add to it even a little bit more. Cool music notes, right? Okay, and then he can have more friends off over here um, and things like that. So have fun with this because it's meant to be fun. And if you want to be inspired by music and you want to make dancing figures, turn on some of your favorite music, okay? Um, that will definitely help you um, to kind of get some dance moves going and be like, oh, I want to draw that move. And if you need to, have somebody take a picture of you. Or 
um, sketch each other. So just sketch the stick figure um, of your um, of somebody and then outline it. You, this is a great use of that quick sketch um, uh, exercise that we did a few videos back um, to where if a model just poses for you and almost like a dance move, okay, I think a dabbing Keith Haring figure would look really cute, guys. Um, and um, just freeze that in the stick figure with the pencil, right? And then outline in pencil again, and then erase your stick figure inside and it should have a really cute um, Keith Haring uh, image there. And remember, lots of bright colors or choose to do it in black and white. It is up to you. Keith worked in both ways. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this um, uh, lesson for today and that you guys have a good time being inspired by Keith Haring. I know I'm certainly inspired. I'm gonna finish um, this guy up here. I think you're gonna color him in a little bit and then I will show you the finished image at the end of this video, okay guys? So enjoy your art lesson for today. Enjoy the weather today. Kind of looks like it's gonna be nice. I haven't checked the weather yet. Um, but I hope that you all are staying safe and remember to wash those hands. Bye, I miss you.